Hey, what's up guys? This is John from Back on the Road DIY. Today we're gonna be touching up the kitchen cabinets. You guys see the paint is already like falling out in some of the, the doors and some cabinets. And so the ideal thing would be repainting everything, but I, I have a family member coming to visit in like two weeks. And for this, I need like a garage or a paint booth. So with a good venting so I could get a cheap this factory finish. And I don't have time for that and I don't have a paint booth or a garage. So I'm gonna show you how anybody could just touch this up. So to the simple eye, it will be unnoticeable. And um, later when I get a paint booth, cause I need to repaint my car myself. And if you guys, if you guys are interested in that, keep watching cause I'm gonna repaint my whole car and I'm gonna teach you how to do it from home. And now uh, if you have a garage, you good. I don't have a garage. So I'm gonna have to get a paint booth. I'm saving up for it. And um, if you wanna help me out, I'll leave a link in the description with a buy me a coffee link and all that money is gonna be used for the paint booth so I could do all this stuff and teach you guys how to do it. So without further ado, let's jump to the video. Okay guys, I'm gonna be showing you on this door right here so you guys know how to do it on all the cabinets. First thing, we're gonna be using a degreaser. I'm gonna use super clean cause that's what I got. Look, I got this bottle already because I use it for everything. It's diluted, it's super clean, diluted one to 10 or any type of degreaser. You're gonna degrease it first, wipe it off, we're gonna sand it, then we're gonna throw some alcohol, clean it, and then we're gonna touch it with a latex paint. I'm gonna show you the paint I use. It's the one I use for the trim of the house. It's a latex paint, so it's very similar to this, and it's gonna be unnoticeable, so let's go, guys. This is the paint I'm going to be using. It's a paint and primer in one. It's a semi-gloss, ultra pure white. This is very similar to the white in the cabinet, so this is very good, and it's latex, so. It's gonna look just the same. It's gonna be unnoticeable. Look guys, as you see here, I just need this little bit cause I don't have many places to, to touch up. So I'm, this is gonna be enough, but look, it's a very thick paint as you guys see. Okay, first we're gonna degrease. Now I'm gonna use 150 sandpaper. Just give it a light scent. Just slightly, cause this is MDF. So you don't have to go that, that deep. That's it. Put this right here. You just want to remove the paint that's kind of popping out. That's it. Now we're gonna take alcohol. Just clean everything. Now, I'm gonna be using one of my daughter's paint brushes. So this is something little. And just, first, let's try under it just to see if the color match. Yes, it does. Just apply little by little. That's it. Trying to blend it in. Now I'm gonna take the same paper towel, put a little bit of alcohol right here and just kind of clean up. Remember guys, this is just a little touch up. So I'm gonna eventually, I'm gonna repaint this whole thing. Now I just wanted to blend in 
So, when my mother-in-law comes, this doesn't look as ugly. And I'm gonna do like two coats. I'm gonna let it dry for about 20 minutes and do a second coat. And as you guys see, I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but you guys get it. Guys, look, that's how it looked after the second coat. It's not perfect, but look, I retouched this. Remember the one over here? It's not perfect, like I said. Look, from far away, doesn't look good, doesn't look bad, you know? It's not perfect at all, but remember I said I'm gonna repaint this whole thing whenever I get that paint booth, so that's why I didn't worry about like doing it perfect. I just want to have a busy family member coming. So, you know, I don't want the, I don't want the house looking like it's falling apart. So this is a quick fix. Just what, 20 minutes. I did two coats on, on that one over there, the corner. And look at the rest. Look from far away. If you come in, in the kitchen, look, nothing. You don't see nothing before you will see because he the, those um scratches or those parts where the paint was falling apart it would look like dark brown so since the the cabinets are white it was popping out now to the naked eye it doesn't you, you can't even see it you have to like really go into it to look to to see it like look if you get really close of course you see it it doesn't look good but like i said I'm gonna repaint this in a couple months, but the whole cabinets and um, like the whole doors, I'm gonna get a paint booth and do it outside so it looks good. And for now, hope you guys enjoy it. And this is helpful. You don't have to wait, you know, till you do the whole cabinets to touch it up. This will give you like, you know, a couple more months looking not as bad. So if you like, if you guys like it, please make sure you like. Leave a comment, and if you want to help me get the paint booth, make sure you 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 um click that link in the description. Thank you, guys.